This picture here in the Tri-State Museum is of the uh, Bullock Cowboys that went to ride in Theodore Roosevelt's inauguration. Uh, Roosevelt was elected in 1904, and then his inaugural parade was in 1905. And there were 60-some guys from this area, over a pretty widespread area, that uh, joined Seth Bullock to go and, and ride in this uh, inauguration. Uh, they were quite a hit there. Uh, Roosevelt loved them. He actually uh, had a meeting with like the secretary, one of his cabinet members, right after the inaugural parade, but he invited these guys to come up to the White House, and uh, he just kind of made that secretary wait until he got done having fun with these. He was a, had been a longtime friend of Seth Bullock's, but this is a picture that's got a lot of those gentlemen in that, that rode. There are a number of them that are not in, and when you, if you look online, you'll see different pictures. Most, the most common one resembles this, but you'll see pictures where they don't have their hats, and there's, there's guys elsewhere around that didn't get in the picture. Uh, right in the center is Seth Bullock. Uh, a couple of guys to his to his right. Uh, right here is my uncle Charlie, the owner of Tipperary, and right over here is my grandfather, uh, Fred Wilson. A couple of guys that didn't start out with them are right down here, and that's uh, Matt Quest and Tom Mix, both who become. Uh, silent movie stars in the years uh, after that. And uh, my grandfather and Tom Mix developed a friendship there and communicated for quite a number of years afterwards uh, through letters and, and Christmas cards and that type of thing. But it's uh, quite a piece of history here for this area. One of the oddities of this picture is this gentleman right here, because when my grandfather uh, called to get a, a copy of this picture, he, he talked to the photographer and he, and he wanted this guy in who was not in there originally. So as far as I know, this is one of the original cut and paste things that was done. The uh, photographer cut out some of the negative and there was just an open spot right here. So he stuck Grandpa's friend in there. I don't know if there's another picture like it. So, anyway, a uh, little part of our family history and uh, the local history as well. Uh, most of the cowboys uh, sold their horses and brought their saddles back. Uh, my grandfather wrote an account of what went on through that time. It was published in the local paper. But uh, by and large, uh, wherever they went, the owners of hotels and so forth uh, complimented them on how well they were behaved, but uh, they were prone to some shenanigans as well. Uh, in the inaugural parade, they wanted everybody to be just like this, you know. Well, these guys were shaking hands, and the policeman was trying to keep them in order, and finally one of them roped the policeman, and uh, they find they just gave up trying to control them and... and uh, President Roosevelt got quite a kick out of them as they, they came by his viewing stand and so forth. So, yeah, it's been a it's been a special piece of our family. We've it's on loan to the uh, museum here. That and my grandfather's saddle that he rode in the inaugurations. We thought uh, rather than just hanging in somebody's house, it'd be good to have it here because it's part of the local history. 